Hello my fellow Adrellers, Vaniwa here, and welcome to your typical family-friendly Fallout 4 mod review. Now, in the last episode, my companions and my character ate so much pizza and cookies that we had to build ourselves some toilets to alleviate the pressure. You okay? However, they poop so much that they have actually caused a blockage and we now have a pileup of poop. We're gonna need a plumber to unclog our pipes, someone with decades of experience. Can you guys guess who it might be? I think we should maybe dress a little bit more appropriately to encourage him to come over and service us, if you know what I mean. We have Grim Bowsit by Grim Sovereign, and this outfit will definitely get a plumber to unclog your drains and pipes. The outfit can be obtained by spawning it in with the command console. The Bowsit outfit is definitely something a bad girl would wear to make her dad mad or a girl with some peculiar hobbies. The textures are in 4K textures and it has a high poly count, so that means that it's super curvy in all the right places. The outfit has a pair of Bowser horns and as well as a crown on her head. There are spikes on her arms, hands, feet, neck, and torso. And for those that are not too familiar, Bowser was a fan-made character based on Bowser from the Super Mario franchise. Bowser used a power-up meant for another character which turned him into a very fine-looking princess. The outfit has two different versions, we have a corset version and a bikini version. The bikini version kind of removes the middle part of the corset to expose a little bit more skin. But for this video, I'm probably going to be sticking with the corset version just because, well, you know, YouTube and everything. Yes, indeed. I also feature the outfit in a Skyrim mod review. If you want to check it out, there's going to be a link at the end of the video. Make sure you click on it. So now we wait for the plumber to come over to our beach resort to unplug our toilets, to unplug our pooper. Wait a second, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> well, uh, we should maybe make this place a little bit more inviting for the plumber. We have Pool Ball Toad Statue by Derpsdale and you may be eating some magical mushrooms if you install this mod and place these all over your settlement. The Toad Statues can be found in the build menu under the Decoration and Statues section. The Toad Statue is apparently made out of billiard balls that can be found in Fallout 4. It was made by using Uni full of 4 assets and it has nothing to do with Nintendo. Toad is from Super Mario and now you can have this very colorful and vibrant statue to decorate your player home or settlement with. So now we wait, under this very hot sun with the sun blazing into our face. We need to find a way to cool off. We have KDA, Akali Cap, Glows and Color Swaps by Shea Mizu and this is a very stylish headgear that will make any League of Legends player feel like a champion. The Kali cap can be crafted at the chemistry station for just 10 cloth. The cap is purple in color with the KDA logo and the brim of the cap glowing. There will be a little bit of clipping of the hair but it's mostly unavoidable. We also have 9 different colors for the glow and I do like the neon pink and the neon blue colors. The cap is perfect whether you're dancing in the subway or using it to provide some shade to your face. KDA is a pop music girl group for the game League of Legends and it consists of a few champions from the game. Akali is one of them. They have a very hot video on YouTube that kind of resembles a Korean girl pop music group. I never really played League of Legends so I can't really comment too much on it. However, I am going to be looking up some, uh, let's just say, adult stuff on the Sad Panda side if you know what I mean. Yes indeed. The mod author who made the Akali cap is also the same one that made the Ahiga bandanas that I'm wearing on my face, which I will be replacing just for this occasion to match the Akali cap. We have the KDA Akali Mask Glows and Color Swaps by Shea Mizu and the KDA Akali Cap is not complete unless you also have the mask. The Akali Mask can be crafted at the commission station for 10 cloth. The Akali Mask looks very badass and it also has a glow to it. We have 9 different colors of glow as well just like the Akali Caps and the only thing that's kind of missing is like the mouth on the map moving when your character talks in the game. Now that will be truly be groundbreaking and will be totally totally brings it to the next level. 
At this point, I'm kind of surprised that someone have not really tried to make a KD Akali outfit for Fallout 4 or Skyrim. I also remember to use the Fusion City mod to get some footage with some better background and lighting to match the urban, hip-hop nature of these KDA mods. The good thing is that you can mix and match the colors of the Kali cap and the mask to get some very flashy combinations of your liking. Now all of a sudden, you're off doing stuff your own way and leaving me in the dust. Sorry, Kate. Quit apologizing. Just start treating me like you used to. And we'll be right as rain. Now let's get back on the road and start having some fun. The most important thing to have during a hot sunny day is to have a very nice cold drink. What we need is some hard alcohol. We have Nuka Dark Rum by Trophy Hunker and once you make and drink some, they will be gone in no time. The rum! Yes! The rum is gone! Why is the rum gone? These bottles of Nuka Dark Rum has AK textures and the letterings and words are extremely sharp and I'm not really a drinker but is 35% alcohol considered a strong drink? The back of the bottle has a warning to warn pregnant women and drivers to not drink this Nuka Dark Rum. It strangely has Bethesda's information on it. I guess everyone at Bethesda is drunk, especially when they made <clears throat> Fallout 76. <clears throat> Anyways, the bottle cap has a brush finishing on the metal which looks very real. The Dark Rum can be crafted at the commission station and interestingly there are two versions. We have the authentic one which uses aluminum, bottle caps and glass, while the normal one uses plastic instead of glass. When you place them side to side you can see that the authentic one is a little bit more glossy because of the glass while the normal one is kind of a matted look to it. When you use them, the authentic Nuka Dark Rum kind of gives a buff to all stats except for intelligence and perception. The normal Nuka Dark Rum is outrageous with minus 120 intelligence and minus 400 perception. However, it provides 1400 charisma. The weird thing is that when you use the normal version, sometimes weird things happen. Who's laughing now? What the hell was that? When I first heard it, I thought I had something playing in the background on my computer that was kind of my initial reaction. Haha, ha, yes, very funny, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now at least we are cool now and drunk. Everyone ugly will now look pretty. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Follow From Out of View. My character, Ariola, is going to be sitting here until the next episode and wait for the plumber to arrive and fix her pipes. Make sure that you bang that like and subscribe button, bang it good to make sure that you won't miss the next video. If you haven't become my patron today for my patron, make sure you do it today as well, you know, show you to who's boss by helping me keep the series going. Well then, stay skimpy my friends, stay skimpy.